Hey there, it's Cynthia with The Dinner Fix, where I help answer the question, what's for dinner? Today, I'm making breakfast for dinner. I love breakfast, it's one of my favorite meals of the day, and I love making breakfast burritos, or really just burritos in general, but I really love breakfast burritos. Uh, so I see no reason why I should not make a breakfast burrito for dinner. So I'm doing it. Uh, this one um, is kind of what I consider to be the ultimate breakfast burrito because it's loaded with all kinds of yummy goodness. Um, we're going to put eggs in there, some crispy potatoes, avocado, ham. Uh, there'll be some other yummy bits we throw in there as well. So stick around watch how i make it and i assure you that if you make this one at home you're never going to want to get a takeout breakfast burrito again we're going to start off by cooking our potatoes i have a russet potato here that i've cut into quarters lengthwise and then cut each quarter into one third inch thick pieces and what we're going to do first is boil these in salted water for about five to six minutes just until they start to soften on the outside mm -hmm. All right, so when there's maybe a minute or two left um, on those potatoes, we're gonna take about half a tablespoon of butter. We're just gonna melt this over low heat on a skillet. We're gonna add about half a tablespoon of olive oil. Just let that all melt together. And give that a swirl to help it along. And what we're gonna do in a minute is once our potatoes have hit that five, six minute mark, we're gonna drain those potatoes and then we're going to add them um, in a single layer as best you can to the skillet. So you wanna make sure that you're using a, a skillet that's large enough to accommodate these in a single layer. So just gonna move these around uh, to get those to fit as best I can. And we're going to allow these to cook on one side completely undisturbed for about five, six minutes until they get a nice golden crust on the bottom. All right, it's been about five minutes, so we're gonna check these potatoes and look at that nice and golden brown. That's exactly what you're looking for. So we're just gonna give these a flip, and just turn them over so they get nice and golden on the other side. And that's gonna take another five, six minutes over a low to medium low heat, depending upon um, your skillet. We again just wanna get a nice uh, golden brown crust on the other side as well. While we wait for those potatoes to finish cooking, let's get started on our eggs. So I have four eggs here. I've added about a tablespoon of milk. I'm gonna season with a little bit of salt and the milk is just to help those get nice and fluffy. And we're gonna add um, some chopped chives. It's about, I don't know, tablespoon and a half, maybe two tablespoons of chives. And then we're just gonna take a fork. You can use a whisk for this, but we just wanna break them up, give them a nice whisk because um, we're going to make a scramble with these. All right, just set those aside. All right, so I have another skillet here that I've just greased with a little bit of olive oil. And to this, I'm going to add some ham. And this is just a uh, deli ham that I've uh, cubed up, but you can use, um, you know, sausage here. You could use bacon. Uh, this is already cooked. So really, I'm just kind of warming this up. I'm going to brown it a little. Um, if you're using, you know, sausage or something that's uncooked, make sure you cook that thoroughly uh, before you add your eggs, which is what we're about to do now. So that scramble from earlier, just kind of give that another quick little whisk. And then we're going to just pour this in and we're going to cook this over really low heat. That's the key to getting a nice fluffy scramble um, is to cook it low and slow. If I can just get all these chives out of here. All right, that looks pretty good. So I'm just gonna take a spatula and we're just going to gradually uh, give this a stir, uh, letting the egg cook a little bit on the bottom and then just pushing it in toward the center. Um, and it's gonna be a slow process. I mean, this is gonna take maybe five or six minutes by the time this is all cooked through if you're cooking it you know, low enough. Um, but for the purposes of this show, we're just gonna speed this up. And again, you're just gonna scramble this until it's completely cooked. All 
right, that looks pretty good. So I'm just gonna set this aside and it's time to assemble some burritos. So I have here just a cast iron griddle. You can use an empty uh, large skillet for this. Use something that's gonna be large enough to accommodate a large burrito sized tortilla. And this tortilla is so massive, it doesn't even fit in the shot. Um, but you get the idea. You'll just wanna turn this gradually, just you know, cook it on one side, we'll give it a flip and then cook it on the other side. All right, our tortilla is cooked. So we're going to now take a couple of slices of cheese and you can use whatever cheese you have on hand. I'm just using American here. We're just gonna layer them down the center as such. And actually I'm gonna turn this so that I can layer the uh, ingredients, the filling horizontally. It's just gonna be easier that way. So I'm gonna take half our scramble. I've made enough here for two burritos. So about two eggs per burrito. These are gonna be massive burritos. Um, you're not gonna be hungry for a while. So just kind of layering that over the cheese. And then we're gonna take half our potatoes from earlier. Look at how pretty those look. They're nice and golden and crunchy. And make sure you taste these um, for salt before you throw them in here. Uh, these you know, had enough salt in the cooking water, so they're fine, but wanna make sure you season those properly. Then I'm gonna take some avocado. This one I've already sliced in half, um, but I'm just going to take a knife and I'm gonna just uh, cube this. So I'm gonna make a couple of slits vertically uh, and then horizontally. And then I'm gonna just take a spoon. I can get my hands on it. Where's that spoon? There it is. All right, so I'm gonna take a spoon and I'm just gonna scoop this out and you've got uh, some beautiful cubed avocado and then I'm just gonna distribute this as best I can so you get avocado in every bite. Uh, here I just have some store-bought salsa. You can use whatever salsa that you like that you have on hand. I'm just gonna drizzle that over and this is totally optional. And then to assemble the burrito, I guess to fold the burrito, you're gonna take the two sides, you're gonna tuck them over. You're gonna take the side closest to you and flip it over. And you wanna do that quickly um, and then roll it over so everything's nice and tucked in, and there you have it. Now, if you want some extra credit, you can take that burrito and put it back on the skillet seam side down and see how you get this nice crust. I absolutely love doing this to my burritos, so I like kind of searing this, or toasting this rather, on all four sides before I dig in, and it makes for a really yummy burrito. Totally optional. Now I've got our burrito. I only seared two sides here. Um, but I'm just gonna cut this down the center to make for easy eating. Oh man, I'm excited. Look at that. We've got the potatoes, the eggs, the avocado. Hope you make this one at home. Let me know what you think. Enjoy.